Let's not waste any more time and dive right in. Okay, guys, so first off, let's talk about what leads are and what messages are, what form fills are, what I would call these potentials as well. So first things first, the most, the hottest lead you could get out there in my own personal opinion would be to actually get someone calling you inquiring about your product or service. That's probably one of the best leads out there. Um, getting them directly on the phone call. If you're good at sales, you're going to close them like that, like hotcakes. The second type is like a message. So how I look at a lead for a message would be them messaging your Instagram page, messaging your Facebook page, messaging your chat bot on your website, uh, potentially texting your business as well. That would be another really hot lead in my opinion. Third thing is like a form fill. So what a form fill is, basically they're filling out information, inquiring about your business. So I just wanna show you guys a little example for you guys watching on Facebook. You can see this. If you're on the podcast, then obviously just follow along. So over on marketinglife.com, let me share my screen with you guys here. You can go to Marketing Life and you can get a free marketing strategy. So basically, once you get this free strategy, I ask for a, I ask you guys a few simple questions on, you know, so I can assess your business. So basically, you come in here, you fill out your name, you fill out your phone number so I can follow up with you, you fill out your email, and then in my own opinion, something I need from you guys, if you're ever filling this out or a customer coming to me, I need to know how much they're spending on their marketing budget. So I can assess how and I can help them or the strategy that can actually help them. So they fill that out and then they give me their site and that will immediately allow me to create a strategy on what I believe they can do to generate more leads and sales for the business. That's the, that's the end goal of your business. So the other thing with so basically those are the leads. That's that that covers our lead basis of what I believe is a lead and what everybody we should be striving for online. Now these other things in my opinion are important. They need to be happening on social media. They need to be happening, but a lot of times in my own opinion people get way too caught up on this. So the first thing is comments. Now, out of all these things, the reason why I want to talk about comments first is comments are probably more important than all of these things that we're talking about with potentials and the potential category. They trump followers, they trump subscribers, and they trump likes, in my opinion. So I call these potentials, like potentially these people could turn into customers, potentially it's just the likelihood of them turning into actual business is gonna be less likely than your actual calls, messages, or form fills. Usually, the comments can potentially turn into a customer. You can DM them and say, hey, like I saw your comment, let's chat more about this. But follows and subscribers, the thing is there's a lot of just spam things out there that follow and subscribe. There's tons of, there's tons of bots out there that just go through and like things. I mean, if you really want, you can go get an Instagram bot to just like tons of hashtags and things like that. And to me, that's not very authentic. That's not very organic. When you get someone calling you, messaging you, or filling out a form and you're following up with them, that's authenticity. And that's what's gonna help grow your business. And that's what, at the end of the day, that's what people need to be focusing on is actual calls, messages, and form fills. Don't get too caught up on the comments, the likes, and the subscribers. The truth is that potent, that's really not going to help your business grow that much. So let me know if you guys have any questions about leads, potentials. If you guys think I'm wrong, let me know. I want to know what you guys think. So I'm here to help you guys grow. If you guys want a free online marketing strategy, you can go to um, 
marketinglife.com and fill out that form and I can assess your business, where it's at, and what I believe you should be doing to generate more leads and sales online. So that's going to wrap up this episode, episode 136 of the Marketing Life Podcast, and peace.